hello 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 i'm so excited this time i am not cooking i cooked yesterday and i am going to show you how we eat this type of food in botswana show my viewers uh, how we eat some of the food in botswana so palichi which is this white corn stuff i cooked it before in my one of my videos and here is just beans i also cook them you know you just get your favorite beans it can be either a black eye beans or any type of beans and you just boil them and put some um, onions and whatever um, spice you want to put in so basically also it's one of the things i have already cooked so you can see it in my videos and I'm so excited to show you this. And I said today, okay, let me get myself ready a little bit. Try to look nice a little bit. These are the colors of uh, Botswana flag. It's black, white, and blue. Okay, I'm gonna show you how you can eat what you call a balanced meal without eating meat. So we have a lot of beans. In Botswana and you can cook any greens you want and this time I cook kale I like kale and this white stuff is cornmeal which I've already cooked in one of my videos so uh, if you don't have meat back home you will eat beans as, as a supplement for that but um, again Really, once you have this meal, you won't even miss eating meat because you got you got this uh, beans, you got proteins, you got uh, some greens, and yeah, the corn meal is starch, but that's your whole meal right there. So when I was a kid, we used to eat this by hand, and up to now, anyway. Sometimes, if I wanna really enjoy palichi, if that's what we call it in Botswana, or this corn meal. You use your hands to eat it. Right now, just make sure your hands are nice and clean. And, um, and then you eat it with your hands. Basically, somehow, if you eat it with the spoon, it doesn't taste as good as you eat it with, the, with, 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 with your hands. So, um, I don't usually eat in my videos, but I said, let me, let me just make something different this time, okay? So you don't get bored. I'm talking about my views. Anyone who has been watching me in one of my videos, they know I don't usually eat, but I think I'm gonna tr start tasting my food now. Well, basically, you just um, go ahead and um, eat. And this tastes good, it's very filling. You won't miss meat, like I say, you'll drink a lot of water after this. My hair is feeling burnt. What we do back then, you take this, you, you, you put it, you, you go into a ball like this. Is it, you know, it's, uh, it's fun, like cooking, it's fun to eat this if you do it like that. Then you get your greens, then you get your, your, your beans, and Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tastes really good. I can get him, get him. But it is really good. Again, you can put it in the bowl. Get your greens and get the beans. And It is good. The beans are really good. And they're, they're very simple to cook. I don't usually use the ones from the can. So I think I plan to make my next dish. Uh, I'll have it with fish and the beans and plantains. I saw my sister doing that over Thanksgiving. So I said, I'm gonna show my view. I'm gonna I'll show you how to make it. This time, this one had fish in it, so 
I will show you. So this, by the way, um, my sister went back home and she brought me this. I love it because I can just put it around my hair if I'm having a ha bad hairdo. Um, take this, sis. You know which sister you are. Right? Anyway. So my other sister brought me these beans. Thank you, sister. You know who you are. So let's keep eating. really good though seriously you won't miss much mm -hmm. but anything is good so but like I say it's very enjoyable to eat to eat this cornmeal with these new hands Yeah, I'm going to be making uh, different dishes. The next time I'll make uh, another dish where I'll show you, where we also enjoy eating with our hands. Uh, yeah, it's good. So, hmm. I don't know. The greens, they are so easy to cook. You have seen me cook them before. We are always uh, uh, lazy in making our own food, you know. But they it, 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 the food you make, it always tastes great and, and more healthier because you know exactly what you put in. You know how much oil you put in. You know how much sugar you put in. So, cooking is fun. You know, you always see me dancing and dancing in my videos. Okay. Okay. Hey. Of course, I, I am trying to lose weight. So, I'm trying not to eat a lot of, uh, you know, carbohydrates. But, I wanted to show you because this goes well together. You know. you get tired of seeing me eating so I will play you a little bit of my um, some of my videos but um you know putting a video it's not an easy thing it's easy to cook but putting the video together I'm telling you my friends it's not easy maybe one day I'll ask somebody to do it for me one day but I have learned it's just it just takes a while to do it so by the way, I really appreciate you watching me, supporting me. Um, please uh, for what? Thank you for watching Gino's Creative Cooking. Please subscribe and turn your notification down below so you can receive all the videos as I cook along. And I promise that. I promised that I was going to cook more of um, the dishes I learned in Italy. You know, when I went to Italy, I still did what I love best. I attended a cooking class and I really loved it. So I still have some of the dishes to show you exactly how the Italian chef was doing it. It, it, it was amazing. I mean, I already made uh, eggplant parmesan, so the next part i'm gonna make you show you how to make the pizza the way the chef showed me in italy they have very good pizza they have very they have very good food overall so i plan to go there again because i want to learn how to make different kind of dishes since i love cooking so um i don't I'm gonna do it. I'll show you. You, like I say, if you subscribe, you will be able to see all that. You will be able to see the dishes that I'm gonna make. Amazing dishes. I mean, amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you.
thank you for watching Gino's Creative Cooking. Till.